Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, a.k.a. PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast where we have digital discussions in the worlds of Social media, pop culture, sports, and of course hockey. We love hockey here on Pop Turnative. My guest is a hockey prospect that currently plays for the Owen Sound Attack in the Ontario Hockey League. We're with uh, Sean Dursey. Sean, welcome to Pop Turnative. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Uh, I'm really uh, excited to talk to you because you know when you when you talk about hard work and when you talk about perseverance and when you talk about as much as if this sounds cheesy or cliche, I mean you kind of could be a little bit of like the poster boy for that because you know <laughs> um, you've battled injuries, you've battled setbacks, and you know you still seem to kind of find a way to kind of persevere and conquer a lot of challenges and obstacles that come your way. So can you talk a little bit about your career you've had as a um, player and junior and how you've kind of overcome certain challenges and it's how it's helped your game yeah for sure you know I've uh, gone through some adversity in my career and you know I think uh, in the long run that makes you uh, better as a player and as a person for sure and and you know I've definitely uh, definitely matured a lot from it and, and you know it's it's something that uh, all hockey players go through and it's just you know the great ones come out of it so you know I think it's definitely helped me and and you know it's it's just going to keep going forward with it. There's a lot of hockey players that have get have gotten drafted, whether it's in the junior level, whether it's in the pro level, when they got drafted kind of uh, in a later round. And you're, you know, a 12th round pick in the OHL draft. Was that kind of right away motivation to kind of prove everyone wrong that maybe you were kind of, um, you could have been picked a bit earlier? Um, what was what was going through your head, you know, that year, your draft year in the, um, for the OHL? Honestly, I was just pretty grateful that uh, Owen Sound took a chance on me in the twelfth, and and you know it was more of a more of a proving them right situation, and you know really wanted to really wanted to prove the the scouting staff and the general manager here that uh, you know they made the right choice on me, and you know I ended up not making it my first year, but you know I came back as a seventeen year old. They told me what I had to do, and you know I got bigger, stronger, and, and you know I cracked the squad my second year. But yeah, I was just really about proving them right, and, and you know trying to make a good impression on them. Absolutely. Who is Sean Dursey on the ice, and who is Sean Dursey off the ice? Sean Dursey on the ice is uh, is a competitor. You know, he likes to win, and and you know he he he's got no friends on on any other team, and and you know he's really just he's with his brothers on the ice, and and you know he's just a competitor. And off the ice, he's a laid back guy. You know, likes to have his fun, but uh, you know when it comes to to working out and stuff like that, it's 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 hard work for me and. You know, there's a time and a place, and I, I definitely like to have fun with my friends and stuff like that. But, you know, when it comes to hockey, it's it's all business. No, absolutely. The, the uh, you know, you look at uh, the NHL draft, and um, you know, uh, last year, um, you know, unfortunately, you were not you were not selected. But you know, you look at this year and and going in as a 19, 19 year old, and with the opportunity, and the amazing season you're having with the attack. What what some what what is like? Have you ever have you been given any advice from other players that have maybe gone through the similar uh, the similar experiences you have gone with, like getting passed up in the draft and then coming back and having a good year? Um, what what are some of the advices from coaches or you know family friends that you've been given um, in terms of you know getting ready for um, the NHL draft um, for the second year? Yeah, for sure. I've been uh, given tons of advice and. And, you know, it's it's more not it's, it's not really worrying about the draft and it's just worrying about yourself and what you control, right? And you know, that's something uh, I think I was a little worried about last year, season. And you know, it was just it was a draft, my first uh, eligible draft year. And you know, going through every game, you're thinking about the scouts, you're thinking about this, that, and, and you know, it definitely puts a burden on yourself and, and it makes it a lot harder. But you know, this year I'm just focused on playing hockey and, and you know, controlling what I can control. And, and you know, I've had. Uh, Geez, I've had a lot of friends who've gone through the draft and a lot of older guys who, who you know, who've, who've signed contracts and, and, you know, who've made, made pro hockey. And, you know, what they've told me is, you know, it's it's, it's a whole new level and, and, you know, really you just got to be focused on getting better every day. And, and, you know, scouts will notice that, you know, they notice the small things and, and you know, it's just, just worrying about what I can control this year. You were added to um, Team OHL for the uh, Canada-Russia series um, that we saw and... 
Uh, I'm. What was going through your your mind once you got you know added to that team? I mean, it, it there's so many implications and there's a lot on the line when you know players have the uh, opportunity to play in uh, an event like that. Uh, like, what was going through your mind when you found out that you were, you got to play and kind of uh, show the scouts what you what Sean Dursey has on the ice? Well, really, it was just excitement, and you know that was a that was a lot of fun that game, and I had a. I had a few buddies on that team already and, and you know I've watched the the previous one and Owen Sound before and you know I was just I was I was thrilled when I got the call and you know I thought it was a possibility uh from the season I was having and you know when the rosters came out I wasn't on it I wasn't too worried about it but uh you know I obviously wanted to to prove my point again like I've had to do before and you know I kept playing hard I kept doing my thing on the ice and and you know I remember uh it was a Saturday night game and, and the Canada Russia series was on a, on a Tuesday or a Monday. And, you know, after the game coach came into the room and, and you know, he just, he was announcing, you know, we had a couple guys leaving and, and he ended up uh, saying my name too. And it was, uh, it was all smiles from there, but you know, that, that experience was great. You know, it was a lot of exposure and, and, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun. You know, you got a, you got a lot of, a lot of people came to watch and, and you know, it's, it's, it's a Canadian national event there, you know, they play it throughout Canada and, you know, I think I learned a lot, and there's a lot of great players in that game. And you know, you just pick up little things from watching other guys. And, and you know, it definitely, uh, it was definitely a great experience, and that definitely made me a better player. Absolutely. Um, 47 points in 37 games this season. Been out with an injury, but you know, prior to that, just absolutely on fire in the Ontario Hockey League. You were we're seeing a trend where defensemen are like yourself. Nick Hag just hit 30 goals, which is absolutely insane he's been on the show before um and uh what do you think about this movement and this shift and i'm sure you know some you know scouts or bloggers uh um might have different um perspectives than you because you're actually one of them but do you kind of see that there's a lot more offensive defensemen coming up in the ohl and in junior hockey that are able to kind of chime in on the rush because i'm definitely seeing a lot more year by year yeah for sure you know it's uh it's a changing game and and you know it's it's becoming more of a more of a puck moving defenseman you're, you're starting to see a lot a lot smaller guys make it to the nhl as, as defensemen and you know whereas 10 15 years ago it was all geez 20 years ago it was all you know six six foot or, or or more and if you're under six foot you're not playing in the nhl as a defenseman but you know it's it's a it's a trend and it's becoming more of a skilled game and and i'm, I'm sure you had a keel on the show and I, and I saw that episode where you guys talked about you know it's it's more of a skill game now and you know, I, I 100% agree with that, and, and you know, it's uh, it's it's definitely uh, it's becoming more of a skilled game, and and you know, it's nice to see because you know that's, that kind of fits into my game as a defenseman. I like to jump up into the rush, and, and you know, obviously, you know, the the best offensive defenseman can play great defense as well, and, and you know, that's that's the difference of making it to the pros, and you know, it's it's definitely becoming a, a more skilled and offensive game for defensemen. 15 goals this season, only two the year before. Um, specifically with your game, what were you doing this year that was different to get, you know, um, 13 goals, more, like having 13 more goals than last season? Are you like, is it literally just shooting the puck more? Is it just kind of having more power play time? Like what what, what has changed there? Well, honestly, it's uh, it's it was coming off of a, of a pretty good off season of, of shooting pucks a lot. And, and you know, I did... Uh, I did a goalie school in the summer and I shot probably a thousand pucks on, on goalies every day. And, you know, I got to credit a lot to that because you learn different ways to score and, you know, just, just how goalies move and stuff like that. You know, you just become a student while, uh, while, uh, while working on ma- making these goalies better. And, you know, it definitely, uh, it's, it's, it's play with good players as well. And, you know, I got a lot of great guys on my team and, and, you know, it's, it, it comes with confidence and, you know, I feel like I got more, a lot more confidence this season and, you know, I'm not putting as much pressure on myself, and I'm just playing my game. I'm just showing people what I could do. And you know, if you if you make good plays and, and strong plays and, and shoot the puck at the right time, you know, you're going to score goals. Yura Gajevich, who is a Vancouver Canucks prospect, won uh, one gold medal with Canada at the World Junior Hockey Championship, uh, and a teammate of yours. Um, when he came back. Was there a confidence in the room that you think helped a lot of players like yourself because of the success he had in the tournament and the team did? When these players come back from tournaments like that, I'm I'm sure it kind of could it kind of lights a fire in the room a little bit. 
Yeah, for sure. You know, that was, that was, uh, we talked to him about that and, you know, he said that was a great experience and, you know, that, that was a, it was a lot of fun to watch him there and, and, you know, he's a really good friend of mine and, you know, it's, it's nice to see him having success now as he, as he comes back and he's, and he's, he's healthy now. And, you know, it's, it's really good to see, uh, you know, a lot of guys, you got a lot of younger guys looking up to him and, you know, he's been a leader in our locker room for the last, geez, three years. And, you know, I think, uh, with him coming back and, and playing strong, it definitely helps our team a lot. I find it very interesting, Sean. You're a very interesting type of player because, you know, we talked about the fact that you're, you know, you're 19 years old right now. Um, it was your draft year last year. Um, it's one of those things where you have experience playing. Um, it, you know, it's your third year in the OA. It, it's the third year. It's your third year in the OHL. So you have a little bit of that um, veteran aspect, but at the same time, you know, you're hungry like a lot of the other players, like like Akil and Barry Hayton, who are looking to get drafted this season in the OHL. I find that interesting. Ha- do you ever think about that? You know, because you're kind of like the hybrid, because you're kind of like, you're the leader, you have the, the the veteran aspects, but you're also looking to kind of, um, it's like your time to shine, essentially. Yeah, it's, it's funny you say that. You know, I... Uh... I talked to, to some of the younger guys who are in their draft year, the 2000 uh, uh, born uh, kids on my team. And, you know, we kind of talk about the draft and kind I kind of let them know, you know, I've gone through it and, you know, you just don't put so much pressure on yourself and, and just play hockey. And, you know, at the same time, I'm, I'm kind of worried about myself, right? You know, I got uh, I got the draft coming up this season and, you know, it's 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 kind of nice to have that experience and, you know, to kind of be a leader. But, you know, it's, it's, it's funny, you're right. Uh, I'm going through it myself, so. You know, I'm looking forward to it, and and you know, it's it's nice to be both a leader and and a draft eligible. Size is something that's always debated in hockey, whether you have the size or not. We are seeing a lot of players, and Akil, men- Akil mentioned it. You mentioned, it. I mean, skill kind of is tr- is is like is is becoming triumphant. It's becoming kind of if you have skill, and you could play. It doesn't matter what your size is. Um, you know, Alex Barre Boulet, who is lighting it up in the Quebec Mid Junior Hockey League. He's smaller for he's a smaller guy. He just signed with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, I'm sure you have played with players that are small that have unbelievable skill. What do you kind of think about this aspect of smaller guys? Um, do you think uh, sk- uh, size is still a big part of that? Or if you have skill, it doesn't matter how, how big you are. Because, you know, Craig Button, a friend of the show, who's been on many times, he believes, you know, like Johnny Gaudreau, he had no doubt that he was going to be a good hockey player, whether he, whether he was a big guy or not. So what do you kind of think about that? Because we're seeing that a lot in junior hockey. We're seeing guys that have dominated in the past, but maybe haven't got as much exposure because they're not as big. So what do you think about that? Yeah, well, you know, one of the one of the most skilled players I've ever, I've ever seen in my life, and, and you know, even even looking at NHL players and, and you know, a lot of pro hockey players is uh, Petrus Palmu, who actually who I played with last season. And, you know, he was drafted to Vancouver uh, last year and, you know, he was 19 when he got drafted. So, you know, I think, uh, I think a lot of, a lot of smaller players, like I said, are, are entering the league and, you know, I believe he, he can play in the NHL one day as well. And, you know, he's, he's, I think he's like five, seven, but, but, you know, he's, he's the most skilled player I've ever seen. You know, he, he's unbelievable. And, you know, it, it, it kind of sucks that he's got that size burden on him. But, you know, I believe he could uh, he could overcome that. And, you know, another guy to talk about this year is uh, Aiden Dudas, who's draft eligible on my team. And, you know, he, I thought he had a great prospect game. And, you know, he put up two two great goals. And, and you know, he just put his, sk- his skill on display. And, you know, I think it's, it's, it's definitely uh, – uh, as becoming a skilled game and, and a lot of smaller guys are entering the league with it and, and I think it's good to see. What do you kind of think about, um, you know, there's a lot of skill in, in the OHL, but I'm just curious from your perspective, being a defenseman, it could be forward, it could be a defenseman. Who are kind of um, some of the players in the OHL that you've played against this year and you've been like, wow, like this this player is something else. Are there any, and I'm sure there's going to be some players that are going to, Say it, it like you're what you're one of the players because it's like you you you're letting it up this season and I hope that continues once you get back from the injury. But are there some players that really impress you this season? Yeah, geez, there's a ton, and you know, one guy from my team is Nick Suzuki. You know, he makes plays uh, day in and day out that you're just like wow, and, and you know, you learn from it as as well, right? And you know, it's nice to to be working with him before and after practice, and you know, just doing the small things together, and you know, you pick things up from him and. You know, people see it. You know, it's 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 really not hard to notice a guy like Nick, and and you know he he makes a lot of great plays out there and, and a lot of smart plays, and it's good to have a guy like that in your team. But 
you know, one guy I got to say, uh, play against is, uh, you know, Rob Thomas has made a lot of great plays and, and you know, he's a pretty good player as well. And, and yeah. Absolutely. What are kind of some of the goals that Shaw Dursey is um, setting himself for 2018? I mean, we're a couple months in. I mean, NHL draft is around the corner. Um, I'm sure you want to kind of have a good end to the season with Owen Sound as well. What are some of the things that you're looking forward to? Yeah, well, I think uh, we got a, a fantastic team in Owen Sound, and, and you know, I think we got enough to, to you know win a Memorial Cup, and you know that's always the goal. And you know, I think we got all the tools, and, and as long as we come together and, and play hard, play our hearts out. Uh, you know, I think I think we could do it, and you know that's definitely one of the goals. And you know, for myself, you know, I just want to want to continue to to play the way I'm playing, and you know, play with confidence, and you know, play my game right. And you know, I'm an I'm offensive puck mover, and you know, I just like to make plays, and you know, help my team win games. And you know, as long as I do that, and and you know, as long as our team's playing well, uh, I'll be happy. Well, we wish you all the best for the rest of the year. Um, Sean, it's it's awesome that you're able to join us. Um, where can people follow you on social media? Yeah, I got uh, Twitter, Instagram, and it's all just at Sean Dursey. It's just my name. Be- perfect. So uh, we'll make sure that we get people to sauce you a follow there. Well, yeah, like I said, all the best and uh, good luck for the, uh, the rest of the season, man. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Peter. No problem. Well, this has been Pop Turnative. You can catch previous episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube and wherever else you listen to uh, to wherever else you listen to podcasts. So we're everywhere. Until next time, Sean Dursey, Peter Beat signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.